Okay, let's see. I am trying this again. And I so I missed their postcard um, deal earlier today and uh, on Let's Make Art. And I decided I needed some more painting because last night I had fun, but I was also tired. And then today I just need some more mental health break. So here I go with watching. I'm going to watch the replay of the um, video they did. And I'm going to, uh, I don't have the postcard to paint, but I'm going to paint a version of this. I'm going to paint a version of what they're doing, so. What? It's you on your phone. Oh, are we live? So, let me switch up the to where they time. start. How to get dressed, you know. They had some August. stuff at the beginning. So, so um, I don't know all the words to this Okay, here we go. Go Shannon! We got stuff to do. Come on. All right, let's do this. You guys ready? You guys ever heard of art? You guys heard of art? Welcome to art. This is what we do. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're doing a quick little live painting here today for our Let's Make Art Matter postcard. Uh, this is for the month of August. So, um, in case you're confused on the timing, we are doing the August postcard, which is for Starla out in Arizona. And um, some of you have already painted it and sent it in, and that is amazing. For those of you who haven't done it yet, we're just going to paint a little something live. We're going to do this sunflower. Now explain how Starla is connected to the sunflower. Oh, I think it connects real well, okay? Because Starla, the sun is the biggest star, okay? So we would do a sunflower. A sunflower with a lot of seeds. So I found like a sunflower would be perfect for Starla. Sun, star. Sun is the biggest star. You got, you guys get it. You get it. They get it for sure. Okay. So, all right. Let's and just to go over is. what um, Make Art Matter is for people who are new to this and not really oh. sure. Um, every month we choose a different person or family and we write a little card in there, um, just kind of information about them, about why they're receiving the postcard, and we include a postcard in your subscription box that is addressed and stamped. So all you have to do is paint it, and we drop it in the mail. And then that way, you know, whatever they're going through, um, you know, just all of a sudden they start getting these hand-painted postcards in the mail, and it just brightens their day. And that is our goal. Our goal is just to brighten people's day with art, which you absolutely can do. And um, it kind of started because a few, gosh, I think it was actually like this time last year, I had some close family friends who were going through a really, really hard time. And it was just, you know, just sad thing and hard and trial after another. And I wanted them to know that I was thinking about them and I loved them. But sometimes it's hard to say the right things because maybe you don't want to offend them or maybe you don't know so what to say or maybe you know there's Facebook nothing you can say to make them feel better. Um, so what I did is I would um, paint Check some things. Page I would just take cool. a moment and paint them a picture and give it to them. And it was just my way of saying, I'm thinking about you, I love you, and um, I'm here for you. So that's what we're trying right, to do. Just good people. Okay. Cool. Feels good? Okay. Great. Um, I want to paint. You got a hello from your bus driver. It's time to oh, paint. Oh, hello. Um, that's such a great story. One of our um, subscribers, I'm from like the Sacramento, California area, and she messaged me. She's like, hey, I'm, I'm um, from Antelope, which is a suburb of Sacramento. Um, and, I, and she was just saying small world. And I was like, I went to high school actually in Antelope, California. And she was like, I am a bus driver for your high school. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, what? So, so crazy. Years later. Small world. Small world. Small world. It's the little things, you know. Small okay. world's awesome. So, um, Starla, who's getting this card, she's out in Arizona. She has um, congestive heart failure, and she has gone through surgery after surgery, and all of them have very low risk of surviving, and she's still with us. She is a fighter and um, just really an amazing woman, and so we just want to brighten her day and let her know that she has a support team cheering her on and that we're here for her and that she's being thought of. So we're going to do this sunflower, okay? 
Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, the difference between this sunflower and the one we did earlier in the month is this one is actually going to be um, like it's flat, like we're, you know, watching, looking at it from above, where the one from our kit, it was kind of tilting away from us. So it's, a, it's just a variation of that. And I'm going to start with drawing my circle on my postcard. And really, <laughs> the center, the center part of the sunflower. And um, I'm actually just going to use this roll of tape as a circle. But you guys can use whatever feels right for you. You can freehand it. You can do. How big of a circle do I need? I need to put it on the edge. Yeah. It's, I'm gonna go, well, it's your painting. So I'm going to. I'm using my round sticks. I'm picking up some water. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of yellow. Here, and then I'm going to um, outline it on the inside. I'm going to just, just put using it on this the, uh, tape, just like that. Draw it with a so now I have a center for my, my sunflower. Or something. So uh, you absolutely can use that tape again. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to start putting my petals in. I'm just going to kind of start and go all the way around the painting. And I'm just going to use um, daffodil yellow for this. Now, as you can see, this is just a used palette that I have. I'm just Actually, using whatever leftover paint from the subscription or just kind of use what you have on hand, you know? So it doesn't, what do you do? It's still Turn dry. That's okay. Dirty. If something is dry, you just take your wet brush and you just smear it around and it comes right back. It's amazing. It is amazing. Okay. We are living in the future. This is 2018. Okay. So okay. I'm going to start with my petals, and um, when I get around the top here, they are going to kind of go off the edge a little bit, so it's okay if they kind of like go off. And then uh, when you do your petals, I'm leaving a little bit of space, so there's kind of like barely touching, and you want to make like a curved line, almost like an eye, like if you were to draw an eye. Okay. And then you can just fill that in. This is going to make me as nervous as those leaves did last night. So I'm just going around... And don't worry, we'll fill in the spaces in between. The hard thing is going to be trying to keep the same petal length as you go around. Uh, so yeah. try and focus on that. Now I am leaving little, like, uh, on some of them, I'm leaving, like, a little thin white line in between, like, in the middle of my petal. And that's just for interest. That's just for switching things up. I ran out of like paint. That. And then another thing I noticed when I was looking um, at the sunflower paintings is that um, when you do petals, they have a belly to them. So they kind of go wide in the middle and then narrow out at the top. That kind of thing. So keep that in mind when you're painting petals. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of the amber and kind of just drop it in just where that petal is meeting the center of the flower. Just right there. Okay. We're gonna keep going around. Mine have great big Remember, it's that gonna get cut off. Like That's like okay. Those. If we try to make our petals fit uh, on this postcard and just make them smaller, it would kind of look a little bit funky. So we're we're. I, I Acknowledging that this is stuff. just a different composition and some yeah, of the right. petals are going to be cut off. Or if your center is small enough, it could fit on the whole thing. Okay. So let me do one more down here. I don't know how we're going to fill in these when I've got such big spots. Do I need to move my tray to the other side? Oh, that'd be a great okay. idea. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I just realized that. I'm going to label that table. Sorry. <laughs> tray, right Let's side. this way. Good? Okay. Perfect. Oh, We're back in business. Okay, so I did my first layer of petals, and now I'm going to move to um, start working on the center of my flower. Now, the center of sunflowers are brown, and then the very center is black. So to get brown, you just mix black with some um, of the amber, because brown is just dark orange. Really, you could mix all the colors. Really, you could mix all of the colors, and they would make a brown color because that's what happens For when you just. People, that's their best talent. <laughs> they color. You know what? It's I a great talent. My okay, petals. it's great. Um, and then I'm just going to go along the edge here of the sunflower with my brown. 
Now some of my petals might still be a little bit wet, so that brown might bleed into them a little bit, but I embrace those things. I love it when things right like that happen. It's like an accidental I art element like... that I think is fabulous. So I'm just kind of outlining the brown, and then I'm going to put in my black center. So I'm grabbing some black, and I'm going to put in my center. Now, since my sunflower is off-center, so is my center but of my sunflower. So just try and match so. it up. Outline with brown. Oh, and I always like to do an extra so little drop of black in there. Oh, okay. Ooh, it is bleeding in. That's okay. I can go with the bleed in. Okay, so we have the outside of our center. We have the center of our center done. It's bleeding in a lot because it was still wet. What? And it's more than that. <laughs> it is beautiful. But we're going we're gonna to really fill oh. this out. We're going to flesh it out. <laughs> we got more stuff coming. Don't worry. Here's my black. I'm going to start nice. taking this brown. I picked up a little bit uh, more of the brown, mixed in a little bit of more orange, so it's a little bit lighter. This and I'm just going Dandelion to start Pink putting Company, this which is Sarah and Al in the middle of my sunflower. Just a teeny tiny bit of black over here. By now, remember, hand. things are still wet, and it's, it's kind of bleeding a little bit. Anywhere. I'm embracing that. I'm, I actually really love it when things like that happen. If it bothers you and you do not like that, then wait for all of these elements to dry before you put them in. The black seems and then that a little way thick. So I don't know why it's thick. Bleeding. Okay, so now we have a nice brown wash in our center, but it's looking a little bit light. We want to add a little bit of dimension in there, a little bit more color. So I'm actually going to grab some of this iris on my palette here. I believe this is iris. And it makes like a green almost. I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow in there. And I'm going to just start putting in um, pops or little areas of different colors. Because I think it just makes it a little bit more rich. That way it's not just you know, one solid color brown. It has a little bit of color nice variation, a little tripped. bit of interest in there. On my petal. I'm going to do a, a I want to drip on the petal. Okay, got it. Oh! It Who said that, Erica? Quite. Eric. Oh, Eric. Thank you. That, yes. Oh, Eric Lucas? Yeah. That's my husband's like best friend and he is a botanist so I believe what he says thanks Eric thanks for having my back okay so I just am dropping in a little bit of the amber a little bit of blue and green just to get some color variation in there more yellowish orange oh, yes. here. oh yes it's looking fabulous I love it I'm going to do one more kind of darker black. go okay. around the edge, and I'm just going to let that bleed. People are talking to us. Okay. okay. Great. We did our center, you guys. This is, that's it for our center. It looks great. It has this a nice is why I dark watch replay because center like, of our center. I am so... so much easier than the big one. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yes, pause. Yes. Six minutes, we're done. I can't pause. Okay, there we go. Because, like, they're moving too fast for me. Drop water in this because it just doesn't seem to be blending some of those hot, that hard line out like I don't want. Maybe if I put a little bit of brown over it, it'll cover the hard line. Ooh, okay. And she's, what was it? Violet? A color she had? I'm going to touch a little touch of my blues and see if it's give since orange and blue are kind of uh, across from each other. I'm going to throw some just colors of blue maybe in there and see how that works. Maybe some droppy drops for 
swooshies. Let's see where these go. This droppy drop over here is going to be a problem. Somehow it ended up green. I wonder if I could add some more yellow back over it. Probably not. I've probably dragged that. Have to figure out how that one petal has a little bit of green in it and the rest don't. Maybe this one does too somehow. All right, maybe I've caught up now and I've got my center done. Uh, but I just realized how off center my center is. Hmm. All right, let's go for some brown and make this center a little bit rounder. And I still have black. Yay. Yeah, because my center was not centered. That was not good. Made it look like a really weird eyeball. Although since all of this is now wet, it's going to bleed interesting, but that might be okay. It might be like fuzzies. Maybe it'll be all right. A little bit more. The last of the black that I've got over here. It still looks off center because part of it was this part was dried black and this part out here is not. Oh yeah, I'll move some of that black around so it's not so stupid looking. I'm just, I am being nice to myself. I just think that that was like backwards. Look, looked weird. Um, although now maybe that'll help me if I ever go make if I ever paint eyeballs. So now I'm caught up and I can go back. <laughs> this one we're gonna see how fast we can do it. Well, this one I think I'm kind of really embracing the loose feel of it, letting things kind of blend together, that kind of thing. Um, there's a benefit to painting loose and fast, I think. And it's just letting go of all those. It looks smaller is fun too. Eh? Smaller is fun and um, yeah, I love painting small. And especially when you have this little guy and you hold it like far away, that's gonna look real good. Trust me. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the second layer of petals. And the second layer of petals, I'm just going to mix in a little bit of amber with my dandelion. Um, I mean, with my daffodil yellow, just to make the petals a little bit darker and because they're underneath. So I'm going to kind of go in between these. And I'm working around so the petals that are already there. Orange, and, I don't have that, so and then you fill it in the top. So you kind of just like color work here around it. My brown, maybe with my black. And you see how they're darker in color? and they're behind, that shows us that these yellow petals are in front of it. I'm scared to paint the behind after I've painted the forwards. Ache. All right, girl, you're it challenging is. me. There are, there are thin petals and there are thick petals. We don't discriminate against petal shape. We love them all. Okay, sure. And I didn't leave enough sizes. space. We take all That's sizes why. of petals here and we okay. love them. We celebrate them. And another thing that you can do, because sometimes, um, and you've noticed, you might notice here that all of these tops are looking all the same, right? They're kind of like really uniform. And so sometimes what I like to do is I'll just like throw in, just using like a light yellow, I'll just be like, and here's a third le level of petals behind these two. Let's mix it up, you know? Let's go a little bit crazy. Very edgy. It's oh, what that's I always say. I'm going to cover up my water droplet. 
I'm going to see if I can fit that into I'm every not single be able to see it. We Yay. <laughs> <laughs> every every tutorial we do, I'm going to say I live on the edge. You'll see. Okay. And you just keep going, keep making your way around. Oops, that pedal's going to like go off the edge. And another thing that you can do if the colors are seeming too yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, um, is sometimes I'll just take from the yellow that's already here and just use that and pull that. And then it's just kind of a lighter yellow. It might be a little bit more on the brown side because we're, that middle is still kind of bleeding through. But that's okay. Really the key is just switching it up, variation. We don't want it to be too um, uniform. And then what I'm gonna go, I like some of these little white edges, but I don't like how um, many there are. So I'm just gonna go in and kind of blend out a couple. Just using a damp brush, blending some out. Ah. All right, I get too loose and too fast, and you know, and a then hint you end of up strong. Th if this you're is loose, just loose pure amber person, right here. You end up with a mess. Just some hints of a nice bright orange. I think one of the reasons I'm liking doing this on Facebook Live is because okay. it's forcing Last me to step. You guys, we're almost done. With whatever we're doing I great. get, no matter what. I'm just going to take Whereas some black, and I'm just going to go along the edge this, here and do little um, dots. Now, this me, is wet, so it's going to kind of bleed out away. a little bit, but we want a little bit of um, detailing like here, and you can see what happens like here when it's dry. It does bleed out a little bit, but I think that's actually a really cool effect. So I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna keep going with it. So I'm just taking some black and kind of dotting around. Now, if you want these dots to be nice and sharp and not like bleed out, then just wait for this to dry and then do this part. Add some orange into some of these. And I kind of um, overlap the line, the, the line separating the center to the petals. I kind of do dots on both sides of those. It's madness. It's madness in a good way. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's our sunflower. It's beautiful. Um, it's bright, it's happy, and I'm sure Starlo will already love it. Um, I know somebody who knows her, and she said that she started actually already getting postcards, and she just put a post on her Facebook just saying, um, it was so wonderful and such an amazing surprise, and she said it, it came exactly when she needed it too. So um, I know that we're all busy, and I know that we have so many things to do, but if we take the time to just do something kind for somebody else, um, it really makes their day, and it makes our day. It feels good to serve and to help people. And um, let's show them how art can matter. So um, paint this, put, put it in the mail. We already did the hard part. You just have to drop it now and um, she'll get it and I'm sure it'll just make her day. So thank you so much for painting with us. Um, I think that's it. Do I need to say anything else? That's it? What? That's it. Putting the centers of my petals back You want to do a sneak peek? Which one should I some other color in with them too. You just finished painting October. I did, okay. I just finished painting the projects for October. I'm so excited for you guys to see. We'll do a sneak peek of one. Which one? Uh, you choose. Okay, I'll do this one since it was in my Instagram stories. You guys ready? Fall leaves. <gasps> oh my these. God, those are pretty. Gorgeous. We're doing some fall. We'll see it in a month. Autumn leaves. Forget you ever saw it. Forget you ever saw it. We just like you guys, so we want to do a little sneak. And um, I'm super excited for this project. All the projects are going to be great, and uh, we're this looking forward to it. Good, man. It's it's a great month. So. Super excited. Don't forget to um, to post this to in the mail. <laughs> Share it, tell your friends. Share it, tell your friends. We love you. We love Starla. We thank you for and doing this with us. And um, that's it. Oh, I Bye. just dipped in the clean. I don't want clean water. I wanted the dirty waters. Okay. I have 
no idea what that is. So, with that, I will um, show you guys a picture when I'm done. Actually, let's see if we can do, take my display and just do the camera. There you go. Okay. Now you can watch me finish, because um, I know that there's a person who wouldn't want his picture up there like that for everybody to see, because that's how he rolls. Um, finish some water here, but I need to drop in some colors while it's still wet. I keep forgetting to do that by the time I look at doing it, it's freaking dry. So they're going to end up like all kinds of muddy. I guess it's a late, it's a late bloomer. It's a late season sunflower or well, maybe early season. I think it's their earlier. This, they're fall flowers anyway or something. All right, let's try this with and then do drop some orange, orange, red, brown, whatever this is. It's kind of turned into mush on my pot on there. These do not look like petals anymore, though. Another light brush or something over it and see what happens when I add water to it. more. Right, this was more stressful than it was relaxing and I'm not sure why except for the fact that I don't like my petals. Um, so I'm not sure what to do about that. And maybe there's nothing I can do about that except just like appreciate this one for what it is I guess. Um, I kind of I want some definition in them, in the leaves, so I'm not sure, now that that's wet, in the petals, definition in my petals. But not, like, entirely. Let's wash that out. Wash it out. Looks like a second grader's turkey. Thanksgiving turkey painting or something. But, I don't know. I think I should have... Well, I know. I know what's wrong. I should have finished the petal each time and then added the paint and it would have looked better, I think. I don't know. I'll find out. I'll just watch more and learn more. Because, you know, when you teach yourself something, that's how you do it, is watch more and learn more. I did get a new brush in the mail today. It's the baby, baby to this one. This brush has a pointed end, and it's called a triangle brush. And it makes really cool looking flowers when you um, push down the belly of it and then lift it up. And then this one's the same thing, but it's a baby one. It's an itty baby one. I get to try it sometime. I don't know when I'll try it, but... Oh, well. I got some more paint on paper. I'm proud of me. Thank you for the... Uh hearts and whoever's watching, because I can't tell who's watching... Um, thank you for whoever is watching, and I don't see any, <laughs> I do see comments now, hi Constance, and Fraser Ramsey, oh my gosh, thank you so much for, like, um, jumping in when you did there. Um, if you are still there, Miss Paisley, I'm going to ask to see if this thing, <laughs> oh, I see, that lets me add your comment to... So when I do turn comments on, I'll get to see it. Nice. Um, wonder if it shows me who actually is watching at the moment. I'm 
but it lets me put the comment there so I can put comments when people are there. Um, sweetness. Oh, and if I turn it on over on my other monitor, I can tell that Constance is still here. And actually, why is the this focus like crappy? There we go. The focus is better. Come on. Focus. Stay focused. You're getting sleepy. Oh, wait. Wrong thing. I wonder why that dumb camera is not staying focused. I need that one there, but... Yeah, so like I can view the comments and I can add the comments to the broadcast. Oh my god, comments! Um, and I could put a comment um, and then I can click it off and then I can add the comment that Fraser said hey to me earlier. He's a fellow blabber uh, and live streamer. So it's cool to see him. I don't know who put the saddy face, but the sad face might have been just like what I was doing. I don't know. And it doesn't matter. But um, I got more paint on, on paper. I did. Paint on paper. Come on. Focus. So here's the semi-final result. I can never get it in the camera shot. Camera. Focus. There we go. So that's that's the one I did just now. Um, I didn't sign it though, so let me take my teeny tiny brush and I'll get some of the, oh, something, oh, I've got a little bit of red here that has, that's liquidy. I will sign this one so that I won't allow myself to touch it anymore. Because after you sign it, you're not supposed to touch it, at least that's my personal rule. All right, all signed. Clean the brush off. Be done. Some fun. Um, maybe I'll get better at flowers. We'll see. Uh, my, I, my, I can see depth. I really can. So, I will uh, see everybody who's watching or has watched or will watch. See you guys later.